Oh! Arthur! Oh, yeah, Arthur! Are you seem in a good oh, mood? So I am, hanging. son. I am. Oh, Let's have some fun. <laughs> Tonight. Even Let's enjoy even ourselves. Even Are we having a party? Maybe. <laughs> Just a little one. Well, Great. We're well, back home now. <laughs> Mr. McGuire, well, everything's going to be okay. So come on. Uncle Sean is back. Let's have ourselves a party. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I you have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. Help! Somebody <laughs> needs to. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh -oh, hey, here son. comes trouble. Eden and Morgan, how are you doing? Wait, if I join you fine folks. <laughs> how about the world? You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old... Do you a know the Louisville lady? I thought lady? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over <laughs> drunk with the rest of the one. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join in. In Louisville, I met a lady. I don't know what I do say. And she was mistress of her trade. It was diddle, diddle, diddle on the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says she's wearing a She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle, 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 diddle all a day. I put my hand upon her, my heart No offense. She says you're getting But you know whenever he diddle, diddle, diddle all a day. I put my hand upon her, and 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 and then they jump back in again. You bet. You know what? That taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... You, the difference between a sheep and... A, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you... Well, you... That, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. Sure. Oh. This keeps happening.
feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again. Fine. Will you dance with me, Arthur? What? <laughs> sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <sighs> Just let you know I met a gal from Gold Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. And the ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's, That's what, what you call the ring dang do. Put me down into her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine fellow. Said me why <laughs> Wish me too. too. Let, Let me ride, ride on the ring, ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now, now what, what is that? that? It's all around, around like, like a pussy cat. cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. Her mom come in angrily said, Now you have lost your maiden head. Pack your bag and coat packs too. Make your living off the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? It's all around like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split it in two. That's, That's what you call a ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. Hungry sign of a dollar each and three for two. Soft and round like a pussy cat. And a ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Yes.
be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. You having fun? Always. You know me. Sure. This could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure. There was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm-hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> blue water. Reckon that's Fire good. water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. You all right there, Pearson? You seem a little out of it. Ah, just exhausted, Mr. Morgan. Well, <laughs> we're out of the worst now. I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously. A long ride back it's a good with them? One. And you have true. no idea. Entirely true. I can imagine. Many, many All right, years well, ago, I should be getting I was selling camping okay, supplies then. in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up Floating on the river, wide as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> and when I said I'm not the marrying kind, <sighs> They wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle, <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> you was in Africa? I've lived many a life, young Morgan. Well, in your mind, maybe. Well, I should get back to it. You betcha. <laughs> you love a party, Mr. Pearson. We needed this. Yes. We did. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I should do some work. Okay, Javier. So what happened to Trelawney? 
disappeared as usual. Anyway, I won't disturb you. You didn't need much excuse. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. And I'm sure you will. All right, well, I should be getting on. Catch up with you later. Hey. All right, Arthur. How are you? I'm good. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. My foot's in a stirrup, my bridle's in my hand. I'm leaving sweet Molly, the fairest in the land. Her parents don't like me, they say I'm too poor. They say I'm unworthy to enter her door. They say I drink whiskey, my money's my own, and damn that don't like me can leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry, and when I get thirsty, I lay down and cry. It's beefsteak when I'm hungry, and whiskey when I'm dry, greenbacks when I'm hard up, and hell when I die. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, whiskey, whiskey I cry. cry. If, if I don't get, get rye whiskey, whiskey, I surely will die. Oh, baby, oh, baby, I've, I've told you before. before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. I've rambled and trampled this wide world around. Raising hell with the gang, that's where I am bound. It's with these gunslingers, dear Molly, I'm Rome. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey, and I were a duck, quack, quack. I'd dive to the bottom and get one, one sweet sup. sup. But the ocean ain't whiskey, and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds, and then we'll get drunk. Oh, baby, oh, baby, I've told you before to make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. <laughs> All right. Hey. There he is. Hello. How are things? Ain't been better. Hi, folks. Oh. Hello, Arthur. How are you holding up? I couldn't be in finer fettle. Good to hear. Okay, Arthur. His heart is good humor, is honest and sound. No malice or hatred is there to be found. He cuts and he marries. Who did you call he drinks a and he fights. Drunkard. For love or oh, for love, for in that he delights. With his sprig of shillelagh and shamrock idea. so green. 
Ah. Where had the luck to sing Donny Brook fair? An Irishman in all his glory is there with a sprig of shillelagh and shamrocks of green. <laughs> his clothes spick and span new without air a speck. And eat Barcelona tight knee round his neck. <laughs> he goes to a tent and he spends half a crown. He meets with a friend and for love knocks him down. With a sprig of shillelagh and shamrock so green. <laughs> that evening returning as homeward he goes. His heart soft with whiskey, his head soft with blows. With his priggish shillelagh, the shamrock so green. He meets with his Sheila, who's blushing a smile. Cries, get you gone, pa. You can sense all the while. <laughs> with your sprig of shillelagh. And shamrock so green. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Hey, get up. What, Arthur? Ah, it's nothing. Too tired for this. One night when I was frisky, from too much potent whiskey Like waves on the Bay of Bisky I began to tumble and roar Mr. Morgan! <coughs> yes, Miss Grimshaw. My face Mr. is red like a, a lobster He said I when it was convenient to head into Emerald poor Ranch lobster. He's looking at a few my businesses watch there. from my okay. fob was picked, oh, sir He'll find something uh, to do He always does Well, you do well now, Mr. Morgan oh. I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw Yeah, hey, there's more uh, I'm resolved to try it I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shun the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us he meet all the jolly good fellas. But I by the poker and bellus. I'll never get. Drunk anymore. 